the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first. Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game five of the National League Division Series between the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2017 Chicago Cubs. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Yeah, man, I think you still have to look out for David Wright. He's hit two home runs so far in this series already, so you know he's feeling really good about himself. You can bet they were talking about him in the pitchers meeting before the game, so their focus is on him, and so is mine. Jake Arrieta gets the call in game five of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, this guy's a competitor. He pitched seven full innings last game, gave his team a chance to get a win. He got a no decision as they continue to play beyond his seven innings. But I like how he goes after it. He's, de he's dedicated. He's got some gusto to him. Hopefully, we'll see another good outing from him in this game. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often this low. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. Now here it comes. To two balls and two strikes now. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Set to deal on two and two. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. In the second spot tonight, second baseman and dribble. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. His history with Jake Arrieta comes in with six hits in 18 at bats. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Now here it comes. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matt, it seems like Drummond is pretty reasonable back there. He's consistent. You don't see many guys rubbernecking calls on him. 
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul. Now another one two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a Got very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He Michael starts this one too Don far Porto. inside and plunks the hitter. One and one, here it is. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Caesar has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting four, right fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Met strand one. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs' starting lineup. Dan Fleezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is big Chris Bryant. He's hit two home runs so far in this series already, so you know he's feeling really good about himself. You can bet they were talking about him in the pitchers meeting before the game, so their focus is on him, and so is mine. Noah Sindergaard has the ball for the fifth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, I'll tell you, starting pitchers go, he's one of the best around. He's really found what works for him, and he's had a lot of success because of it. I think he expects to go out there and dominate every game he starts, and he usually does. No one should be surprised if he turns in a really solid start here. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age with analytics and the shift to fly it all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. one runs a little too far in ball two into the windup here's the two and one pitch and here's a ball hit in the air Darno is under it one out batting second the shortstop Addison Russell here's Addison Russell Here it is on three and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one out walk here in the home first. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Here's Chris Bryant now. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away.
the 2 1 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Darno waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So with two gone now, here's a look at our playoff brackets. And the winner here will earn a date with the Washington Nationals to decide this year's National League crown. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's gone just two for 13. He also has one home run. A runner on first with two away. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. One left for the Cubs. We are still scoreless. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. As it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Hard sinker misses two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. 2 and 2 count, here it comes. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full 3 and 2 here. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Jay. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Had a long way to go to make that running catch. And here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed. And ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Standing in now. Travis Darno, and he lays off for a ball two and one into the windup here's the two and one pitch good looking sinker on the inside corner still looking for our first hit in the ball game and he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 2 2 one more time. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 2 2. Hit hard on the ground at first. Rizzo is there. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting seven. Third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. He is throwing the ball well. He's rewriting the last name on the back of those jerseys. U-G-L-Y. Those swings are ugly. Ball two. And if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full three and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Here 
There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. Wright will take the turn and head for second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. I like it. Hard line drive on the fastball. Hit eight. off the fastball and good things happen. Twelve. Juan Lagare. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball down near the shoe tops. And the pitch on 2 and 1. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Caesar has a beat on it, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Striding in, Kyle Schwarber. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Wright will put this one away for the first down. Batting six. Second baseman. Ben Zobris. Here's Ben Zobris now. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. 0 for 11. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Now the pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. You got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Stepping in now, Wilson Contreras. And he puts it on the ground into second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Zobrist rounds the corner and is headed home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Cardinal sin, Cardinal sin. You got an open base with the pitcher on the on-deck circle, and you let him get a base hit. That just can't happen. Into the box now, Jake Arrieta. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. He got the bunt down, but he didn't right deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. In now, Matt Caesar. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Here's the one and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Two 
two hits in the inning lead to a run for Chicago. We play two full. Cubs lead it one to nothing. Standing in, Noah Syndergaard. Nine, one, and two do up. Come on, Cubby. From the windup, the one-one pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two and one now to Reyes. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Now Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Another 2 2 offering. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. Full count, here it comes. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. And that's two free now passes by. in the third Not inning alone. Good. So you Michael have to wonder if maybe Tom it's Torto. something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. First and second now, one man out. Fouled straight back. Well, that was a good pitch right there, and a good job of spoiling it, too. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach, either. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. 
And that misses two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. From the belt, the pitch. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Gonna have to make some good pitches here. Here it is on three and one. Grounded to third. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Digging in for his second at bat, John Jay. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Conforto comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number one. Now batting. Shortstop. Addison. Russell. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Addison Russell reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Set to deliver on 3-0. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now batting, third baseman. Now to the plate, Chris Bryant. He popped out in his first trip. Ready with the one and one. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away and it froze it. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Again, a one-two. And a swing, and a ball hit foul heading for the seats, so another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Runners on first with one down. hit hard towards center and that'll get down for a base hit well there's another hit by him here in the postseason you talk about impact Our players this is how you impact the series the way he's been swinging the bat Rizzo. standing in now Anthony Rizzo but this is speared by the first baseman Digging in to try it again. Kyle Schwarber. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Two down, runners at first and second. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Out at the plate as they slap the tag on him. Up strand a couple, but they're up one to nothing. Digging in, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here, 
ready to deliver the full count pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. At the plate, Travis Darno comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the stretch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the shoer out. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman David Wright one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Go, shut him down. Get out of here, Matt. Matt. Here's the one and one delivery and he takes ball two and it's two and one seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. The 2 2 now to right. Hit the other way out toward right field. Caesar has a beat on it, and that's the second out of the inning. The center fielder number 12. One into the box now. One Ligaris. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. There's that heavy sinker for strike number two. Now, Matt, this is a tough part of being the eight hitter. That ball's right down the middle. So it makes me wonder is he trying to give his pitcher a breather? Or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hit behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one. It remains one nothing. Here's Ben Zobris now. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. In now, Wilson Contreras. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Here's the 2 1. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. One run, four hits. 
No errors so far for the Cubbies. Little dribbler down the line. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. The pitcher, number 49, Jake Arrieta. Standing in, Jake Arrieta reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was nice. One out and a runner on second base. A swing and it's popped in the air back behind first. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Right fielder number 20, Matt Caesar. Now batting, Matt Caesar. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hard sinker misses 2 and 2. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Cubs strand 1, but they hold a 1 nothing lead. Now at the plate, Noah Syndergaard. He drew a walk his first time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Hey. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. <laughs> that changeup came in at 89 miles an hour. You know a guy throws hard when his off speed is in the high 80s. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now here's the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Payoff pitch one more time. And he misses with it, ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Well, he sure didn't look good right there trying to put that bunt down. I'd be surprised if they give him the bunt sign again, but let's watch and see. Nobody out, runner on first. Sacrifice attempt here. And a good throw gets him one gone. The batter number 13, second baseman. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. Runner at second here with one man out. Takes a look at a sinker that stayed up high, but good for strike two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Dribbled to the right side. That winds up foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. On the ground to the right side. Taken in by Zobrist. On to first and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The left fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Ready for another shot now, Michael Conforto. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit hard down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Two out, two strikes, down to the last I'll strike of the inning, the and he's able to hang right in there field. and drive the You'll ball for a base hit. Finish. Good job of battling right there. Into the box, Joanna Cespedes. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. And he pops it up back behind second base. Therefore, it is Russell and Addison makes the catch to retire the side. A run, a hit, and a man left. Home half of the fifth coming up, all tied at one and one. two here it comes swing and a miss and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out one away so after getting the strikeout on the fastball not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters and whoa you see the big number How about 99 for a top speed not too many guys around the league can match that here's Addison Russell a couple of walks for him thus far Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame him. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the belt, the pitch is a swinging bunt up the line. That veers foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. From the belt, the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. And that retires the side. One left for the Cubs. We played five full, tied at one aside.
Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone out onto Waveland Avenue. So a solo shot down the line in left. His second home run of the series, and the Mets move out to a 2-1 lead. Well, I'm excited to check the home run numbers that come out on show track because that was just one of the most impressive launches we've seen in a good while. And as the numbers come in, that ball was projected to have carried over 460 feet. An amazing show of strength. Standing in now, Travis Darno takes a look at a changeup there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. And through just five innings, he's coming up on a hundred pitches now. Yeah, we're in the sixth, and you know what? If he got to the sixth inning, that's what you want from him. I look for the bullpen to come in pretty soon. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. High in the air out to center field. Jay has a read on it. One away. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Ready for another shot now. David Wright. One run in and one gone so far this inning. One out, nobody on. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Jay going back. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Your Fernando Rodriguez, a right handed Rodriguez reliever the standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Rodriguez. Stepping in now, Juan Ligaris. A changeup over the inside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. In the dirt, and now let's see. And oh, nearly had him going back to second, but he's able to sneak back in safely. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. It's the second one he's seen in a row now. And he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Another try at 2 2. Fastball didn't miss by much. And it's a full count now. Three and two.
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Brandon Nimmo will get the call Benjamin here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, both starters are out of the game, but you know, it's so different today. Now you almost want to get to the bullpen before you extend that starter. At least that's how it seems most managers play it these days. Hits are now even at four apiece. strike that time and it's even a two and two that pitch looked like it could have been a little high but he's been calling that pitch all night kind of rough for a pinch hitter but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been looking to keep this a one run game the pitch in the dirt here Here comes the payoff pitch. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Contreras has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now two to one, New York. Robert Gesellman enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the sixth. Number 65, Robert Gesellman. Ready once again, Kyle Schwarber. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Into the box, Ben Zobrist. Oh, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. Here's the pitch. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The catcher number 40, Wilson Contreras. Ready for another chance? Wilson Contreras. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Here he comes again, one, two. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Seems like he's throwing everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Cespedes is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. Our score remains two to one.
Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. It's on to the seventh now in game number five. But before the inning gets underway, let's fill you in on what's happened with our game summary. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate. So it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Koji Uehara is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Number 19, Javier Baez is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Number nine. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Strike two called and it's even at two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw so it over for a strike. So it was a strikeout looking there. Jose Reyes goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Pitch on the way. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but. That's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Hard hit ball to second. Baez has it. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Contorto. Riding in once again, Michael Conforto. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it 2 to 1. Here's Javier Baez. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Swing and a liner, but that's a foul ball. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. All even at two and two, here it is. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. This is not the guy you want to walk right here. Look, the eight hitter, this could set up a big inning if he gets on. Hit hard but foul as that finds the stands over the Cub dugout. And another foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead. And the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. Digging in to try it again. Matt Caesar. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. O2 delivery hit toward the right side in there a base hit 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that puts the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first base. If you get that knock and get that guy in from first base, you know you've got a chance with that bullpen to hold it up. Digging in, John Jay. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. Only played at first, so the sacrifice works that time. You can't ask for anything more than that. The tying run moves over the third now with only one out, so we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. Digging in once again, Addison Russell, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Taken there by Cabrera. Pro gets him for the second out, but meanwhile the tying run is in to score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. Here's Chris Bryant now. A hit in two tries so far. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And he'll take first here on the intentional walk. So make it runners at the corners now with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous. And they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far. But his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Your attention, please. Now so with a left-handed left hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Jerry Levin. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Maybe lucky to get a piece there. It stays 0 and 2. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Lagares is under it. And that ends the inning. Only one in the inning for the Cubs. Eighth inning coming up. And we are tied 2-2. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Justin Grimm right. will come on to he take over on the, the mound now, and he'll hit now in the third spot in the, the lineup spot. as a part of the Number double 52. switch. Tommy Lastella is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. Here's your one assessment. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt, and he makes the throw to first. Cespedes. Is retired and there's one away. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings.
trying to pick things up where he left off. Wilmer Flores he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And there's ball two now. Bases are empty, one man in. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Clearly wasn't ready for the fastball because it was pretty much center cut and he couldn't pull the trigger. Might have been looking for another curve. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander's begun to get loose. Rizzo is there for it. Two down. The batter. Not a lot of offense to go around, but a very tightly contested ball game. 2-2 our score here in the eighth as it's starting to look more like one run may be enough to win this one. So stepping in, Travis Darno. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Bouncer down the line. But that one rolls foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Score remains two to two. to the plate now Kyle Schwarber he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up he's set here comes the one one a sinker over the outside corner for strike two good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. One and two, here it comes. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. A two strike breaking ball to end up being in the zone. I think he probably won. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And there's a base hit. So just like that, the leadoff man's aboard representing the potential go ahead run. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Well, lefty on lefty, this is a tough matchup, but he stays in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. And time will be called here as with the important go ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Here's Tommy LaStella now, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Go ahead, run to third there after the bunt. Sacrifices aren't everyone's favorite play because you give up precious outs, but they do have a lot of ways now to take the lead. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that'll be the fourth wide one, so put runners at the corners here with one man gone. Second baseman, number nine, Javier Baez. Now to the plate, Javier Baez. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. A.J. Ramos 
Answers the call now, now looking to get this one on to the ninth four, inning without four. any trouble. AJ Rama. And the 2 1 pitch. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Runners are at first and third, one away. This one's down to third. To Cabrera for one on the first and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen one batter two outs and the inning is over around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat more on tap from game five after this welcome back to MLB Network great to have you with us from Chicago as the ninth Your inning is set to get underway now Wade Davis comes on to Number work now and he's their usual closer Wade. but this is obviously Amen. not a save opportunity yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He this hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several now days now, so field. they're just hoping they can keep Number him five. sharp and give him Albert. a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Digging in and looking for more, David Wright. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The 2 2 now to right. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it, Caesar. And that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 12, Juan Lagares. Here's Juan Ligares, and in the past against Wade Davis, he's gone two for five. Crowd gets up for the three-two. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he I'll struck out before twice that. before that one. Better. So he's going to have a, a. lot to think about Mama. when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Matt Reynolds will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this. Tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. He takes a knee high fastball. He's set. Here's the two two. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send York. this one into extra Number innings. 
Robles. So striding forward now, Matt Caesar. He singled his last time up. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Up next for the Cubs, center fielder, Sean Shea. So digging in now, John Jay. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Conforto waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the shortstop, Addison Russell. Here's Addison Russell. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Reyes is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Right side hit hard. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. That is a great two strike approach. Spread his legs out, get 13. the hands back, and just Second punch the ball through for a ground ball, ball base hit. Cabrera. In now, as Drubal Cabrera, runners on the move for second. Hit hard up the middle. One there, on to first, and they get the double play. Well, it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game, but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. Can't get him to chase, it's one and two. Hey, not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. One and two, here it comes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, he tried to put him away on two pitches low in the zone. He just wasn't biting. Nice job of hitting. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. off ball four now the potential go ahead run is on base here two ways to look at this walk if you're the hitting coach you now say batting. that's a great a B right, down 0 2 and you work the walk that's but better. if you're a pitcher like me that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook and that can you're really right. frustrate you Hector now Rondon the takes over here with the Number runner at first six. and two gone in the Hector inning Rondon. Cespedes will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now the three and two pitch. 
And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Met strand one. And this game is still tied at two and two. Miguel Montero is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10. Josh Edgen, the six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. When he is on, that slider is one of the best pitches in all of baseball. That's why he's so tough for those lefties. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Well, they got a little something started now. One out, little one out rally. Got a chance to win the game. We got the winning runner on base now. Standing in now, Albert Almora pulled high in the air out to left field. Conforto shading to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Third baseman, number two, Tommy LaStella. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Now the two one. Pulled toward right center field. Cespedes is there. And the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. And we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Pedro Stroke takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 46, Pedro Stroke. Ready for another shot now, Wilmer Flores. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Here it comes on one and one. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Here's the one and two delivery. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Popped up. Russell able to tuck this one in for out number one. Up next for the Mets, catcher Travis Darno. Digging in once again, Travis Darno, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Set to deliver on two and one, and a slider on the inside for strike one. Here's the 2-2. Hard hit at third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Oh. 
the third baseman, number five, David Wright. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His career line against Pedro Stroke. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now the one and two pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. In now, Juan Ligaris. That's in there, three and one. The three one pick. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. T.J. Rivera will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. Here's a ball hit in the air. Baez is there, and the side is retired. Two left for the Mets. Score remains two to two. Gavin Cicchini will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching number two, Gavin Cicchini. Rafael Montero takes over Number now to start 15. the home 11th, Rafael and he's looking to get this Montero. one to the visiting 12th. Striding in once again, Wilson Contreras. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Rene Rivera is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number 45, Rene Rivera. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Cespedes moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number Second one. Number nine, Javier Baez. Here's Javier Baez. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. This is in the air to right. Cespedes is there. Two down. Right fielder number 20, Matt Caesar. Ready once again, Matt Caesar. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Two out, nobody on. And a foul pop behind the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. 
And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Cubs are down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Digging in to try it again, Jose Reyes. And he'll be the one to begin the inning. Ready on one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Lifted the other way to left center. Jay on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. This programming note to pass along. Due to the length of our game tonight, the long-running animated series, The Wilkerson's, will not be seen this evening. Again, no episode of The Wilkerson's after the game tonight. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One out, nobody on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Jay. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The left fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Ready for another chance, Michael Conforto. It was a walk in his last trip. A one and one count, here's the pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Now the pitch driven down the left field line will it stay fair it will not just slicing foul at the very last moment so close to extra bases well I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone just caught too much of the plate right there fortunately he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats off the plate that time and a little high it's even at two and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Caesar going back to the track. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Still one run can win this thing as we move ahead to the bottom of inning number 12. And we are tied 2-2. In now is John Jay. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the one and one pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. And not in time. So there you go. The possible winning run is on to lead off the inning. Anderson. Russell. Into the box, Addison Russell. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Mine to the right side. But this is speared by the first baseman. Pitcher number 46, Pedro Stroke. Coming to the plate now, Pedro Stroke. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. The one and one pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Reyes. Back to first. It's a double play. And we've got more baseball coming our way as the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Time to put the coffee pot on. 13th inning coming up. 
And we are tied 2-2. Brett Anderson, Anderson takes the hill now to begin the, the lucky 13th inning. Brett Anderson. Here's you on Cespedes. He could use a hit here. 0 for 5 with three strikeouts. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. Now here it comes to third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, first baseman, Wilmer Flores. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. He got under one and popped out his last time up. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left-hander up and working out of the bullpen. Hey. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Looking up is Contreras. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second of the game, and it's given the Mets a 3 2 lead. Man, he should have put a bow on that pitch because it was an absolute gift. You can see that he caught too much of the plate and the hitter caught too much of the ball. Sayonara. See you next time. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right the there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping in now, David Wright. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Set. Here's the 2 2. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. The 2 2 one more time. Just got a piece up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. The 2 2 one more time. Hit on the ground to third. The second for one. Back to Rizzo, and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the solo home run, as that will give them the lead. And now this crowd finds their club behind the eight ball here, as they don't want to wind up on the losing end of this thing. It's the Mets three and the Cubs two. Jerry's Familia. Enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Digging in and looking for more, Anthony Rizzo. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who'll try to close the door in this one. the 2-1 weak chopper up the line that's a foul ball 
Here's the 2-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. Now batting. Left fielder. Albert Almora. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1-1 one one pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He, he's forcing you to look somewhere else. So it was a swinging strike three. Albert Almora becomes out number two this inning. Standing in now, Tommy Lestella. Swing and a ground ball. This could do it. Reyes fields it cleanly. And the Mets have taken their first step. They're headed to the NL Championship Series. Well, my advice to them is to enjoy this moment, celebrate with teammates, and then realize that none of it will matter if they don't get back to work in the NLCS. They've wet their beaks with this postseason success. Now they want some more. Not a lot of fireworks, but that narrows the candidate list for our top player of the game. And the man you see here was a key contributor, so he takes it home in this one. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. Zach and our entire crew on Matt Vaskersian. This has been the NL Division Series. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Cubs. The 2 0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall. Excellent.